Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, My Guide and Pilot, April 4th. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Psalm 32 verse 8 Often the Christian life is beset with dangers and duty seems hard to perform. The imagination pictures impending ruin before and bondage and death behind. Yet the voice of God speaks clearly, go forward. Faith looks beyond the difficulties and lays hold of the unseen, even omnipotence, therefore it cannot be baffled. Faith is the clasping of the hand of Christ in every emergency. Every ship sailing the sea of life needs to have the divine pilot on board. But when storms arise, when tempests threaten, many persons push their pilot overboard and commit their bark into the hand of finite man or try to stir it themselves. Then disaster and wreckage generally follow and the pilot is blamed for running them into such dangerous waters. Do not commit yourselves into the keeping of men, but say, The Lord is my helper. I will seek his counsel. I will be a doer of his will. It is as impossible for us to receive qualification from man without the divine enlightenment as it was for the gods of Egypt to deliver those who trusted in them. Do not trust yourself to men. Act under the divine guide. You have been chosen by Christ. You have been redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb. Plead before God the efficacy of that blood. Say unto him, I am thine by creation. I am thine by redemption. I respect human authority and the advice of my brethren, but I cannot depend wholly upon these. I want thee, O God, to teach me. I have covenanted with thee to adopt the divine standard of character and make thee my counselor and guide, a party of every plan of my life. Therefore, teach me. Let the glory of the Lord be your first consideration. Let every act of your life be sanctified by a holy endeavor to do the Lord's will, that your influence may not lead others into forbidden paths. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.